Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to be doing an unboxing of the Erin Condren 2018 monthly deluxe planners. I got two of them. Um, I'm also planning to do a review on both of them and a comparison between the ones from uh, this year from 2017 since I do have that one over here and I'll probably do a pen test and all of that good stuff so stay tuned okay, just gonna go ahead and open up as you can see this is how it comes packaged uh, oh, I'm so excited um, <laughs> you get these this follow your bliss card this is really cute you know i watch a lot of um unboxing videos but it actually looks really you know much nicer in person and they feel good too but this is also um a little postcard that you can send to somebody that says follow your bliss then they send you the scallop stickers that you can use to um for gift labels and all that oh this is cute need a gift we've got a plan what is this? Oh, <laughs> I think it's just a wrapper. No, it's a gift card. Or it's a gift card in here. Oh, but this is cute. They give you a little card to send to somebody, a special gift for you. Oh, and this is the gift card. Oh, so you can, okay, so you can send somebody a little gift card, you know, and just, you go on Aaron Condren to activate it. This is what this tells you what to do. You go on and activate it and put however much you want to put in there. Um, but we're going to get to this. I've been waiting for this package. <laughs> Wait for this package. Okay, so you have your bubble wrap that comes safe and protected. So this is this planner. And then we move this off the day. Oh, I love these! <laughs> So these are the two planners that I got. Um, this one is the colorful and this one is the neutral. Um, I got these for the purposes of budgeting. This one is for personal life budget and this one is for um, my business budget. Okay. So This is um, the monthly deluxe planner for the 2017 year. This one is obviously the new one for 2018. <clears throat> uh, right off the back, I can tell you that, yes, these coils are huge this year compared to last year. As you can see, that is huge. And it actually, I've kind of tested this one a little bit. Um, it makes it a little harder to turn. Like if you're turning like, well, it's not doing it now, but. <laughs> It does make this a little bit harder to turn if you're turning like a bunch of pages, but I mean, it won't really be an issue. I'm pretty sure I'll get well adjusted to it in a couple weeks or months. So yes, this one actually looks a little bit bigger, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it just my eyes playing with me? I think it's just my eyes playing with me, but this one for some reason looks a little bit bigger than this year. I mean, yeah, this year. So I'll go ahead and flip over. As you can tell, this one, they both have the dashboards. Um, obviously, this one has the printed barcodes, but that doesn't really bother me. If it bothers you, that's just something to be aware of. Well, um, this year had the mid-century background. This one has the petals designs all the way through. Last year, or this year, was actually watercolor. But I don't know why they used the mid-centuries here. They also took away the year. I noticed that. Um, this one just says Deluxe Monthly Planner, where this one says 2017. And they also added this uh, Proud to Say Made in the USA sticker. I, I thought that was noticeable. Then you see your quotes have changed. You can see how the... Uh, 
you can see how the mid-century circles were the cover here and then like I said for this year it's the it's the petals all the way through so the next thing you'll also notice that the months have changed and they also took away these um planning boxes for the year I don't know why they did that but I mean it doesn't matter because I didn't use it anyway they cleaned up the the calendar is really well. Um, they took away the border lines, they took away the watercolors, they took away the asterisks, they changed the fonts. <laughs> they did a lot of stuff. This one actually looks much nicer, but I gotta admit I did love the colorfulness of this um, yearly calendar. And the next page you'll see that they also changed the planning boxes for the year. I actually enjoy that they did that because I didn't like this. I didn't know how to work with this or around this. Um, I had some ideas, but I covered it up. But uh, this one says, your greatest success is believing in yourself. And this year it says, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. They took away this clunky banner thing and they changed it to the smaller page flags. I would have preferred if they just kind of left it blank, but you know it's it's still okay it's still work it's more workable than this was and then i'll flip to a month that i have not written in the first three months were like um mock plannings and then the last obviously are more of my personal budgets but i will flip to march in this one and i'll do a quick overview so in the 2017, you have the skinny page flag banner here as well as the dot grid page. You still have the dot grid page, but they changed it to the um, smaller page flag. Um, here, they obviously changed the decoration. Um, this one was watercolor. Uh, this one is petals. They also added the monthly page flag over here, whereas they didn't have it on this one. And they... I think that's pretty much it. And, you know, they still have the quote and all that stuff. You flip over to the monthly view and they added a little more texture to their um, banners here, whereas this one was just a solid color for the month. They also changed like the strips here. This one was like a light, lighter shade of the color. They just made it light here and they actually wrote out the days. They took away the notes. I mean, no, they took away the gold and the to-dos and the little transparent background they had. And uh, they just changed it to the page flag here. They should just take it off, <laughs> in my opinion. They should just make this kind of blank. But I guess that's to add their little uh, flair to their personal point. You know, got to personalize it. They still have the little icons with the holidays and all that stuff. They still have the um, solar cycles and the moons and all that stuff and I think that's pretty much it for that page and then you flip over to the productivity pages which haven't changed that much uh, that much aside from the long page flag that they did here they changed it to the petals design <clears throat> and then they actually outlined it a little darker than this one is this one had more of a faded effect this one is kind of like in your face um, but they still have the five productivity sections yeah they still have the five productivity sections they still have your full page um, plus your productivity um, checklist side nothing has really changed about that except maybe the colors got darker but I think the colors just got darker for the year um, they were more vivid and that would be the end that would be the end you know this would be your dot grid page for this month and yada 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 <clears throat> some other changes now with this particular planner after December <clears throat> they actually added two more dot grid pages now this planner doesn't have that it didn't come with that and there was no additional option for it as if it mattered but they added dot grid pages for you i guess maybe to test out bullet journaling or something and then uh, try to flip to it 
Okay, then they have your yearly overview for the following year. So this one has 2018 and this new planner has 2019 in it. Um, here you still have your in the coming year boxes down here plus your bulleted um, points underneath. They did take away the asterisk and just give you regular plain circles. I, I kind of missed the asterisk on this one. It was like a little touch, but I can understand why they did it. Um, and then you'll flip over to the quotes page which will lead you into your notes sections for both planners so as you can see in this one they had like a little let's get social thing where you can go to like their twitter or their blog or something and you can post pictures about how you're using your planners and all that stuff here they just decided to do a straight quote and um you know finish it off and take you right into your notes pages now what i did like about these note pages <clears throat> is I really actually did like the whole watercolor thing I I don't know I just thought it made the page look prettier but I can deal with these um you just get your regular page flags it's much much more streamlined much more clean not as decorated and you can um do whatever you like with these planners uh they've always came with the labels in the back they don't come with all the extra decorative stickers that you would get in the regular life planner but i mean you can just buy those online or if you have a staples near you you know sometimes staples will carry them but here i'll go to this page because i have used them up but you had your all you had was the regular all you had was the regular page flag type stickers if you can see that and um, this year you get more of the rounded labels, which I'm actually glad for these. Um, I like these more, but there's something I wanted to see. Because I, these, these um, two players are the, hold on. Yeah, just like I thought. But these two players are the larger size monthly deluxe players. And why that matters is because if you're planning on using any of the sticker kits from uh, Aaron Condren or a lot of the life planners, they're most likely not going to fit because those sticker kits are not made for the larger planners, not even the hardbounds. So these labels, you know, if you wanted to get more labels from the site, just be aware that they're all one size and they're made to fit the <clears throat> the smaller life planner, the 7x9. If you have an 8x11 or the one of the larger hardbounds, it's, it's not going to fit. So you just have to make it work. Um, two sheets of these stickers. And then flip over and you have your pocket for the year. Last, or this year had the mid-century circles in it. This one has the petals design. This, this came with this planner when I got it. It was another postcard. But um yeah and then you flip to the back and of course this one has the petals designs with the same kind of scallop pocket that you can get also from online. They come for like three for ten dollars in a pack. Um yeah I use this one whole stickers <laughs> but of course you have your barcode here. I mean you have your <laughs> your folder here I was just looking at the barcode because I just noticed that they did have it here but you know I guess that's why I say it don't matter I guess they changed it they put it on the front because this one just has the this one just has the you know the label the signature and then that is just the end of the planner so those are the changes from 2017 moving on to 2018. We're going to turn over a new leaf, y'all. So with all those changes being made known, I'll go ahead and just do a quick flip through of the planner and go page by page. Uh, personally, because I want to check and make sure every page is in here and is correct. Um, for your viewing purposes, you can just see what the entire planner looks like. So stay tuned.
then we come to my second uh, monthly deluxe planner and this one I decided to get um, the gold coil with this one and also to change the color of these coils because um, the standard is platinum that's the one you don't have to pay for but if you add like a different color between black gold or rose gold it is a ten dollar upcharge as well as a five dollar upcharge to make the planner bigger as well as an additional five dollar upcharge to add the additional notes pages yeah they they know how to take your money <laughs> um but and also the covers are interchangeable, which I'm sure if you've seen Erin Condren unboxings before, you're very aware. But this is the, the neutral version of this one. This one is for the purposes of keeping track of my business. Um, I got this floral pattern. This one originally comes with the navy blue background. I changed it to black. Um, and I added my own quote, uh, which is, even flowers were once seeds. Uh, just making stuff up. <laughs> But this one, should I do a comparison? I'll do a quick comparison. Um, but as you saw in the last one, this one is the colorful. And this one is the neutral. Uh, same design, same everything. Except that this one is more black. Um, this one is more black and white and, you know, pastel colors. And this one is more rich and vibrant. But it's still pretty much the same idea. Whereas these had the rainbow kind of look this one is just straight black but still the same kind of out um layout i really like this one though <laughs> this one the colors are kind of inverted and black on the outside these are like light on the inside and vibrant on the outside they also don't have the page flags here, so if you don't want anything in your box whatsoever, you should go for the neutral because they don't have any of that here. Very streamlined. Um, and as you can see, every the page flags are black. The It looks like crayon. <laughs> it looks like a little sketching or something like that. I like that. But it's just a very, very lighter, very cleaner look then the colorful planner doesn't have a lot of noise if you don't like noise like if color is noisy to you <laughs> um they have the dot grids pages they have the same quotes this one has absolutely no backdrop in the monthly view and it's just a straight clean line effect the days are actually a little are bolder they're bolder you have a very thin bar here to let you know this is the notes tabs whereas this one has the asterisk and a little page flag indent uh, this one only comes with the page flag with a little bit of color just to let you know uh, the I guess the color scheme of the month they also in the neutral planner they don't come with the little holiday icons because I'm looking here and this one has the snowflakes and this one doesn't but it still comes with the same lunar cycles if that's important to you Product, <clears throat> productivity pages have a little bit of changes too. The um, petals here look more sketched in and lighter. And they also have the black page flag. I think it's black all the way throughout. And then the productivity boxes are actually square. They're, they have hard edges, whereas this one has more rounded edges. So if you make stickers for this, um, that might be something you want to consider. And also the uh, the headers here are different. This one is a thinner strip, whereas this one is like a full rectangular box with the asterisk in it. Also, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the color bar here. It just has her logo there, and that would be it for the most part. Uh, let me check in the back. Yep, and this planner also comes with the two dot grid pages, and I'll, I can do a, a little more detail. This one is also black and white, whereas this one is more colorful, and I think that's pretty much the only changes because everything else is pretty much the same layout. 
besides this you have your black and white quote whereas this one you have your colorful quote and then you go into your notes pages the neutral planner though also comes with the same colored uh, productivity stickers I think the stickers are all the same color this year I don't think you can go and customize these particular ones but they do have another set of labels like the full colored labels that you can customize the colors for those if that's something that's important to you but you get also get two pages of these stickers then you turn over and you have your pocket this this is a really pretty um really yeah really pretty folder um it's the black and white pocket with the white and black background this one had the watercolor type marble background with the colorful petals background and then you turn to the back and you have the same kind of scallop pocket but this one is just black and white and this one was the colorful then you have your ending dashboard and then you have the back of it okay so with that being said I will also do a full flip through for this planner as well so you can also get a full idea of what the neutral planner looks like okay Alright you guys, so that is all that I ended up purchasing from Erin Condren uh, for Black Friday. I got this on Black Friday. She had a sale where um, the site, the whole entire site was 30% off. Um, only things you couldn't get were obvious things like the seasonal box and the um, those new haul boxes or whatever she was selling online but pretty much everything else was 30 percent off so i ended up getting these would have averaged about 55 dollars for each planner but with the 30 percent off it came out to be about 35 dollars for each planner uh if you're interested in getting an Erin Condren planner i do have a link below in the description box it's my referral link where if you use it and you sign up um, to get the account and you make your first purchase through Aaron Condren through that link I'll get a $10 um, credit but you'll also get $10 off your order of course if you're not comfortable doing that you can just go to AaronCondren.com straight away and go ahead and and get an order uh, you don't even have to go online to get these planners though if you have a staples near you um, staples sells all kind of planners they sell planners from the current year that are really cheap so if you just want to test it out and see if you like it um, but you don't want to pay like 55 or 30 dollars for it they do have planners that are getting ready you know that are supposed to be off the shelves that goes for like sixteen dollars so you can even start there they also sell exclusive designs like my hardbound planner that i used with the paisley print they sell those there you can also go to amazon i mean it's more than one way to get this planner if you're really interested in trying it out um, i just left my link just in case you know you wanted to use that but with that being said that is all and i'm going to go and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope I see you around next time. Bye-bye.